You've already heard me refer to source code several times and now I'm going to finally tell you what source code is, what it means, and I'm going to let you see for yourself. So what is the source code? I'm about to answer that, but before I answer it, how to navigate the code. Remember, there's a control button. If you look for CTRL on your computer or keyboard, it's in the lower left hand part of the keyboard. Uh, pretty close to your space bar. It also should be right underneath your shift key. It's a little bit different on everyone's keyboard. Look for that control button. Hit control and F at the same time and you'll be able to isolate certain parts of the code. Now this doesn't make sense unless you know what code is so I'm going to show you right now. Remember the my website folder? Well let's open that up and let's look at the index page. Now, we're looking at the index page the way most people are going to look at it, but there is a different way to look at this page. So if we go up to the browser and select View, and we go down to Source, the source code comes up, and you'll see that it's all this funky looking text, and this is the actual code for the web page. This is what the web page looks like in hand code and this code makes up this page right here. So the idea is how can we edit this? Now if you just look at this and you don't know anything about hand coding you're like that looks like a mess. So let me show you real quickly how we can edit this code. Let me minimize this. Now suppose this 100 percent free let's suppose I want to put a question mark instead of a period here I want to put a question mark. So see this period? I'm going to put a question mark there. So how we do that is we see that this period comes right after 100% free. Now if you look at this page, you don't see the word free before it is right there. So I'm going to search the code for free. So I just click on the cursor at the top. Now I hit control and F and this is going to pop up. That's why I told you control plus F. Control plus F means hit control F at the same time. Control and F and then this box pops up. We're going to type in free and we're going to hit find next and you can see it highlights free in blue. Now we look for the period that happens after free and we have this little bit of code here but then we have a period. So I'm just going to change that to a question mark and I'm going to go up to the file and I'm going to hit save as and since this is an HTML we want to allow it to say all files and we want to save it as the index file. So if I click on index, double click on index, it'll say do I want to replace it and I say yes. I go back to my index here and I can hit refresh and it'll show the change. Now it's a question mark. So I was just able to change it from a period to a question mark by editing the source code. So now let me give you a few pointers on how to make sense of this source code. When you just dive in at first and you don't know anything about this stuff, this looks confusing and that's probably why some people get turned off to it. But I will show you how to make sense of the source code in the next video. So I'm going to break it down into its simplest form and you're going to see how tags work and how the source code is just a conglomeration of tags.